Hello and welcome to another Solana tutorial. You know what's gonna happen tomorrow? I'll fly to Barcelona, to the Barcelona Hacker House. Yes, so if you wanna meet me IRL and you're at the Barcelona Hacker House, that's your chance. Just let me know anywhere and um, we can meet. Anyhow, you know what else is gonna happen tomorrow? The token list will be deprecated. And I've made videos before on that thing. In fact, my second most popular video is on logo and name for your Solana token. So that's gonna be obsolete from now on. And we need to replace it with this video. Speaking of this video, but maybe, maybe that's better, maybe not. I don't know, we'll see, we'll try. And if we don't like it, then, uh, and if you don't like it, then let me know in the comments. Essentially, the Solana token list, this repository, will not be the place for naming your token anymore, which is good. Don't get me wrong, that's a good thing, because this is a very centralized thing and they've made it very difficult for people to actually merge their pull requests. Like with the auto merge, that had so many constraints and sometimes even I had to work for an hour to get that thing to merge. And then they didn't even allow new people to, to merge stuff. So yeah, right. So getting rid of that is a good choice. But then what is it replaced with? Well, we also already made a video about that. But that's not so popular, is it? No. Uh, Solana NFTs, that's the one. Shut up. Here's the article. So, but a bit, a bit, a bit, a boop. Ah, you, you might remember this one, this nice graphic here. There are those master edition accounts. So th wait, those mean that it's an NFT, but you don't need to make it an NFT. You can just create the metadata account. So Metaplex, token standard. There must be some docs, Metaplex docs. There, yes, 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 yes. Normal mints that just have names, metadata, but no master edition. That's something that we want to do, a fungible token. So we know how the tokens work, but then we just also create a metadata account. Yeah, and then here with the URI, you can again have anything. Token standard, that's what I want. It's all there, it's all there in the Metaplex documentation. In the beginning, if we just want the token, then it's this, the fungible standard not the asset yet, where we just have the name, symbol, description, and image. That's it. That's what we want to do today. Then if you want to make an NFT lookalike fungible token, then you can create a fungible asset or a non-fungible. So that's what they call fungible asset standard now. They used to call it semi-fungible, I think. Or is that something else again? Doesn't matter. <laughs> For now, we focus on this anyway. <laughs> we basically just want to represent one simple token that we want to have in our wallet, in the token list, not under the collectibles with the NFTs. And we want to name it, and I'm going to give myself an hour to do it because I still want to have dinner tonight and then I need to pack. So question is, how do I get that stuff on chain? How do I create such a metadata account. Let's go to a friend on Twitter again, because he has technical details here for us. We know how to create a token, create the mint, create the ATA, mint some, but then adding the token metadata to a mint, that's new. So here, adding the token metadata, metadata program from Metaplex. That's where we were. Mm -hmm. The way he does it, apparently here is, by using a JavaScript SDK or something like that. Is there a Metaplex CLI for that as well? No, probably need to. So it's just one transaction, create metadata in version two. Okay, let's dive into the source here for a second. Why did I even click there? <sighs> literally just in the readme. Dude, I just want to know in which goddamn 
library this is supposed to be. How did I get here? I don't know. Searching. Instructions. So, create a metadata account. This instruction creates and initializes a metadata account for a given mint account. This is exactly what we want. Name. Okay. And then it takes accounts. Needs to be writable. That's the key PDA of metadata, program ID, and mint ID. So mint ID is my token mint ID, probably. Mint of the token. Mint authority needs to sign. So as soon as I disable the mint authority, I cannot create metadata account anymore. Payer also needs to sign, obviously, because he pays for that transaction. Update authority, I think I can set to anyone. So, and then arguments, an object containing all of the arguments, name, symbol, URI. Yes, getting there. That's the thing we need to call. But how do we call it? How? Can't be so goddamn hard. MPL token metadata. There's this thing. Create, create account. Let's try from the beginning. I just want to find out in what library those things are. What do I need to import? Once you know it, it's going to be quick, but we don't know it yet. Come on. I don't want to give up. This is, this can't be so difficult. It's just one instruction. And I need to figure out how to do it. And you know, there's meta boss. How does Metaboss do it? Update metadata. Update metadata. MPL token metadata. But that's Rust. There must be. Oh, Metaplex Foundation NPM package. There. That looks good. The Metaplex Foundation MPL token metadata TypeScript package. There. Was that so hard to find? Yes, apparently that was so hard to find. Took me freaking half an hour. Okay, but with that, my dear, it should be easy. Right? Right? From now on, it's easy. I will call that growing pains from an industry that is just being set up and there's no proper, proper, like there is documentation, but there's no proper documentation because it took me half an hour to find that. Anyhow, not complaining, it's just a challenge to navigate this space. So if you take forever to build shit, blame it on the missing documentation. Yeah, and the missing standards. Yeah, but it's fun. It is fun, not gonna lie. Okay, but let's, um, let's create a new project. Main TS, and then we need a console, and then we say just npm install that shit. Let's not use the deprecated one, just install this one. There you go. No, that's Python. Let's call it main. <laughs> just to see if that would work. TS node main. Yeah, okay. So we can execute TypeScript code. Amazing. What was that called? Yeah, that thing. Not sure if I, I'm using too many languages at all at the same time. So I never know what I should do. S MPL. How do you do that? Mm, like that. <laughs> and then MPL. What you got? There we go. There we have a bunch of sh We have a create metadata account V2 struct. Okay, so essentially this is what we had there. Create metadata account arcs v2. That's okay, how about we go the other way around. We type this and then hope that it gives me a quick fix. No quick fix. God damn it. I see the problem, <laughs> but I don't see the fix. But, but where? Where do you get that from? Wait, but a create, create method. Hold on. This though sounds promising. Cause a create metadata account instruction is what we want. So we want to create 
the create metadata account instead. We don't create the metadata account yet, we just create the instructions. So maybe we just want to go with that. Or maybe the v3. Let's stay with the v2. Huh. Okay. So so you need accounts and arguments. And then we get a transaction instruction. Okay. So we const starting with the accounts. You are a create create metadata accounts with two instruction accounts. Easy name. Ah, that's just a type like this. Coolio, 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 coolio. I take it, I take it. I take it, I take it, I take it. Oh, we need web three stuff. Fine, let's get web three stuff. Let's get it. Let's get it on to our computer. Import web <laughs> And then this just tells me what it's supposed to look like. So really what we do is we name all those things. We put actual pub keys here. I'm going to just borrow a function that I like to borrow. We just load a wallet, which just read from a key file. Okay. So we can have a const key pair load wallet key, and then we create ourselves a new goddamn key. Solana keychain grind. Yes, I grind every time. Every time I grind. Starts with what do we do? I don't know. Uh, A and D because that's me. Uh, just need one. A and D X Y. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I'm going to do this and then just for testing purposes, I'm going to console log my key pair public key just to see if that worked. If we execute that, oh yeah, we're not there yet. Hold on. There we go. I just forgot to say as a base 58. Not interested in the actual numbers. There we go. We loaded that wallet. Okay. So I definitely want to be the payer. And I also want to be the update authority. And I also, while we're at it, want to be the mint authority. And then the mint, we still need to create that. And then the metadata, this thing will need to be derived. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Well, maybe we do get ahead of. You know what? Should we just do it on DevNet for a first test? Uh, because it's literally the same on mainnet. It's more fun on mainnet. Besides, testing on mainnet has become more cheap. So let's also grind one for the token. And we call that one um, fake... USD FUD. And that's going to be the token address because I decided that that's going to be the token address. So this mint is going to be a new web3 pub key with this. And maybe put that here just in case I need that somewhere else as well. Okay, now we're just missing the metadata account. And that thing. I'm afraid we will need to get with find program accounts. So metadata PDA. We're going to find a program address. And damn it, where is that? Oh, it's in class pub key. Hold on. Reading documentation. Because there is documentation. Yeah, there we go. And then there is also the sync version. Yes. Nice. Nice. Just need to know where you find it. And then... What do you take? You take the seeds and the program and you get the public key and the metadata PDA and the bump, which we won't use. And the seeds now going back to our documentation that we had somewhere before he metadata and then the token metadata program ID and then the mint. And that was the same that is also that also stands here. So metadata 
metadata. Should we just include, let's just include anchor. Can't go wrong with that. Can't go effing wrong with that. There, boom, done. Okay, cool. Does it load? Yes, okay, cool. And now I can use that. Sweet. Now, that's always the di most difficult part, getting the seeds correct. Just get the bytes from there. I don't know. Can I find that somewhere? Probably in the M MPL, right? Program ID. <laughs> Easy. There, Metaplex. But I'm not sure about this, right? Because putting all the three seeds here, plus the program ID again, metadata plus token metadata program ID plus mint, and then derived by the program, right? I guess so. Not sure why they take that in there, but they do. So I accept it. I accept it. Well, I mean, which is tried, which is tried. Yeah, I mean, that should be that. Then the metadata PDA we put here. And then the accounts we put here. And then the arguments, what's that again? Create metadata arguments. What is that again? Go to definition and then we go to this definition. And then we see, okay, is this good? Is this good? What is data v2? Ah, oh, this is this. Okay, good. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. So, data. Our data v2 will not be needing all of that. I'm just going to go with name, symbol, and URI. So, name, fake, USD token fud <laughs> and then the uri i don't know you should pick something that is already like some like i could for instance pick something from my github but better i would pick something i don't know from shadow drive let's see on shadow drive it's just logo png if i were to go there i just get this yeah there we go that's my that's my token logo now <laughs> there so that's the data v2 which is inside this uh, arcs there we had the data that is the data v2 and then is mutable is true because we do want to frick and we're not in python and we cannot type good and then if we restore that then hopefully this thing will have the right type which argument of type Da, da 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 not assignable to mismatch type. Do you need that as well? You want all of that maybe in here? Like that? Now it's getting real. Type name da 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 is missing the following. Oh, you do want all of those. Well, but I thought from what this guy is writing here, this is enough. Maybe I'm already too deep, right? Maybe I'm already find the full source code here. Ah, it is a create, create metadata account v2 instruction that he's using. Okay. I think we got this part down and then the data is the token metadata, which token metadata here he uses the entire thing. Yeah. Okay. If you need the entire thing, then I should give you the entire thing. Fine, you have the entire thing. We don't. We just set it to null then. And suddenly it accepts this, and I'm getting dark. Pseudo sunlight because it's taking forever. Right, moving on, moving along. We have an instruction. We have an instruction, ladies and gentlemen. Now we just need to send that on, Jane. You know that can't be too difficult. So we create a transaction new web three transaction and then we add the instruction to this transaction and then we say send send and confirm that sounds about right 
Um, all right, now we need a connection. So we would just say definite. No, there was another thing that I need to write in here that I can use it like. Okay, that's better. So now you need the transaction. Transactions, easy to provide. What else you need? Signers, yeah, that's also easy to provide. Uh, I'm the only payer and I'm, so I'm gonna go with my key pair. What else you need? Options, nah, I'm good with that. And then we say, we await this thing. Let's go. This will of course fail. Attempt to debit an account, I don't have money, right? Uh, so Solana airdrop me a soul. There we go. If we try it again, it will still fail because of course we didn't create the token yet. Panicked, program failed. Range and indexed out of range from slice. So that's probably because the token doesn't exist yet. So let's create a token. Just as a reminder how you do this. SPL token create token. And then you want to provide the decimals. For instance, we use, I don't know, three because we're creative. Um, we want to say enable freeze. I just start doing that per default. And then we want to provide the token address, which is this, bam. And then we create our FUD token. Okay. That's all we need to do. We don't even need to mint some, although we could, we could be then like SBL token create account for this, then SBL token mint, I don't know, 42, right? So now we have the token because that is easy with a CLI where you don't need to build stupid freaking transactions with TypeScript. Anyhow, move it on. Let's name some tokens. Woo! We got a transaction coming through. Nice. 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 So first of all, definite. And then we check this thing. Um, so what happened is we paid 0 0.0056 sol for the metadata account, which is this one, the A1X. I'm so surprised that this went through. Wow, I'm actually surprised that this went through first time. Looks good to me. Now let's check our token. Still says unknown token. Okay, so that's not so cool. There are 42 of them, but there is a, there is Metaplex metadata for this. I'm the update authority. If I now run it again, it will fail probably because we can't create the account again. Yeah, custom program error zero x zero already in use. But then hold on, if I were to give you some other seed here, like metadata one, then you also get another account, but would then the, the metadata program complain? Yes, it would. It would say error five, Metadata's key must match seeds off. Yeah, so we did provide the seeds correctly. I'm super impressed by myself that I got that on the first try. Really freaking impressed. Cool, yeah, so I mean, easy as that, right? I could have made it much easier for myself by using the find metadata PDA, <laughs> than just providing the mint. But hey, we're devs and we wanna learn and we wanna learn how to build that so, I mean, the whole thing there, I mean, you can just go there, right? To this example and, and go here and put in your address and your symbol and your metadata URL and then click the update metadata and it, it will do it for you. So just use that, right? If you just want to get it done. But yeah, still, I still don't like that. Uh, I mean, even though that we managed to get the metadata on chain, still have a URI here and not like the image because we expect that there to go the image right away. You know what? We're gonna try it on mainnet. So we ain't pussies, just need to find some money. And I've heard that mainnet is super responsive now. We're gonna check that out. Let's see, SPL, you know, same as before. Here we go, that's number one. And the rest, we don't even need to do that. 
but let's name some tokens. I mean, the sub-second finality, I don't really feel it, you know, I don't feel it, but you know, it's still, as long as the transactions go through, I'm happy. And the transactions go through. Nice. Now, check this out, back on mainnet. We got that transaction through, we paid for a token account and we still have money. We paid for the metadata account. Yeah, so that's the metadata account. Again, the one, the A1X, that's the token. And again, it says unknown token, cause again, it didn't really change anything. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. Look at the graphic. How would Phantom display that? Oh, look at that now. That thing suddenly names it fake USD token. Well, at least that's something. It at least reads the name from on chain. Well, that again, at least that's something. But still, I can't provide the image at the URI that it doesn't like. Point to JSON file off chain. But then I need that name, symbol, description, image at the JSON so that your eye always needs to point to a JSON file. That's just how it works, apparently. Fine, fine, fine. Mm. Oh man, but then I need to upload something to somewhere. But we're so close to being done now. We're almost done. I'm just thinking what is the best way to upload something real quick because I'm tempted to just use Shadow Drive. Which keypad did I use to upload to Shadow Drive? and then the string for the file. Okay, so now we need the file. Let's vim it and call it meta, meta, JSON. And in here we insert pretty much that, that. Oh, that worked well. Just with our, our data and the link we keep the same because we, we can, that's why. Test for how to name your token. Okay. And then we write, nope. And then we write that. And then we upload the metadata JSON. Boom. There we go. Okay. Now, which one did we use? Let's deploy it to the same fee redeemer UI because why not put it there as well. <laughs> Might as well. Might as well. Oh no, what? Bad request. Why? Help me again, what am I doing wrong? But the bad request, we had that, didn't we? Oh, maybe I just need to update my CLI again. Can't go wrong with keeping an up-to-date version because it's in active development that you always want to stay up to date, especially if you get bad requests and the server be like, no, that's your fault. Oh, damn it, permission, I'm gonna give you permission denied. Damn it, I wanted to be done in an hour. Now it's two hours and I'm still sitting here. But I don't give up. Won't give up, don't give up, no, no, no. you be the greatest dev tonight. You'll see I'll be the greatest dev, all right. The greatest, the greatest, the greatest. Alive, oh, oh, I got shadow drive, oh, oh, I got shadow drive, oh, oh, I got shadow drive, oh, oh, I got shadow drive. Let's try that again. Ha, ah, there you go. Just need to update the CLI. Easy, easy, super easy. Lemon squeezy. Now, if we go here and type metadata JSON, we should get the token metadata. Yes, because that was successful. Sweet. Now we only need to update this link that URI of course shouldn't point to the logo but to the metadata JSON and unfortunately we can't create metadata account anymore but we need to update metadata account which is gonna be pretty much the same thing just different create update metadata account v2 instruction with what do you need now accounts arcs okay let's see well here we just need the metadata and 
update authority. But since that is a subset of what we already have with the metadata and update authority, we can keep them in there. That doesn't matter. So that's, that's fine. And then this part, what do you need? An update metadata account arcs v2. There I'm missing some um, TypeScript uh, skills to know what a beat is. I should, I now imagine that I should know what a beat is. If you can explain to me what a beat is in the comments or anywhere, hit me up. Yeah, unfortunately I will need to bring that in there just because they're named differently. That's the worst part about all of this. And then it also complains update authority and primary cell happened. Okay, fine. You should get that then. And now, uh-huh, uh-huh. Now it keeps that. Okay. Sweet, 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 Caroline. Oh, 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 oh. Let's update some metadata. Let's go. Name some tokens, yo. Come on. You can do it. But the simulation at least went through. Otherwise it would have canceled already. See, that's why it's taking two hours. No, not because I'm slow. I'm learning, okay? I'm learning. If you would know everything already, that would be boring. What is my commitment for this thing? 10 minutes? I don't know. You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kill that and start that again. Send it again. There, there we go. There we freaking go. Let's go. Yes. Let's see what we did there. Pay for one signer, and which has provided this one account, and it returns success. Nice. Update metadata accounts. Sweet. Which means token. Let's go back to the token. If I click on metadata here now, let's refresh that. Maybe that's. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the guy. Look at that guy with the fake USD token. <laughs> All the fud. All the fud. Because we have the metadata chasing here now. And that thing points somewhere where it can find the image as well. Yes, that's all we need. That's all we need. Let's look how Phantom sees this though. There you go. I can look. It's now with the logo and the name and I have 42 FUD. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's how we print money, right? Okay. It took longer than expected, but we managed. Now, I wanted to name this video how to name your Solana token, 100% success rate. And my premise of this video was that this is gonna be better than the previous way to do it. And technically it is better. Like everybody can do it. You don't rely on anyone else to approve your freaking pull request. And you can name your token whatever you want to name your token. And as, as it already warns you here, Anybody can do that and they don't need to be unique. So anybody can make a FUD token or a BTC token or a USDC token or another loop token and use the same logo, right? So this is not taken care of anymore because on the GitHub, you could only create the symbol if the symbol didn't exist yet. That's not the case anymore. Anybody can name their tokens anything. Yeah. And my premise was like, this is easier, easier to do than with the GitHub. Right? That was, that's what we thought. And once you know how to do it, it certainly is easier. But if I now tell people who are not technically skilled, like for a deaf, no problem. I give you that source code and uh, you'll be able to do it like in five minutes. But if you're not a deaf, might not be trivial. You gotta come here, look at the source code, change those things, those three things, and those two things, right? You need to put your token address here. You need to put your key pair here. You need to have the key pair lying somewhere on your hard drive. So that's the deaf way to do it, right? For somebody who is not like technically skilled, I would recommend to use like a platform that does it like here. Pretty sure that this works because that's where I copied the code from. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, you can just use this to to name your token. Uh, simple as that. Could have been a two minute video. Go there, click your things in here, and then say update. But uh, who am I? Who am I? A dev or a token creator? Well, both, but mainly I'm a dev. So yeah, I do dev shit. <laughs> like those things, you can check out those videos. Come back for the next video. Come say hi if you're at the Barcelona Hacker House and give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already and I shall see you in the next video. I hope that you learned something today.